and welcome back to more Paper Mario. Last time we did more stuff with Prince Peach, got more info from Mario, and learned that the next star spirit is on Lava Lava Island. And um, I know I said we'd be investigating that fish in the harbor, but I remembered something else. And as I was going to do that, I met up with Chuck Quizmo, so we are going to do that first. Which of Mario's battle command? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I think it's strategies. Uh, or jump. Oh, good. Um, hooray. Uh, there are two things I was thinking we could do, but I don't know if we can actually do both yet. Um, so I'm currently Googling that. Um, there's a, there are two optional bosses we could do, and there's also something else we can do, but um, I'm not sure we will quite yet. Okay, so Feisty, which is actually a joke name, because he's not Feisty. Wait, what? Uh, didn't I have a letter for him? Oh, I must have already delivered it. <laughs> Coover and Cooper Village. Okay, got it. Um, Oh yeah, I just completely- Oh yeah, that's right, Bootler. Uh, this is a different day than last time, so I don't remember anything. So it looks like the second optional boss can only be fought after Chapter 5, which we, of course, haven't done yet. But we will do the first optional boss that we can do. Which is back in Tiger's Toy Box. Uh, I am having a bit of a derp moment right now. I'm trying to remember where the- Oh. Problem solved. Okay, this guy can be a little bit of a, a jerk, so I am going to do this. Problem solved. He said that I'm recording this. <laughs> um, yeah, this is anti guy. Huh? What do you want? Get away from the treasure chest, pal. It's mine, so you don't mess with me, heart. You want to fight? Are you nuts? You, you don't want to mess with me. Are you sure you want to fight? I forgot to beat the second heart. What? Well, alright. I do love a challenge heart. Here it comes, pal. Don't say it anymore. It's weird how like, macho he is, but he still has like little hearts everywhere. <laughs> um, switch to Goombario. See what he has to say. This is an anti-guy. His attacks are so intense that he's also called Deadly Guy. Sounds fun. Um, yeah, attack power 10. That's kind of a lot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Twelve when he does his act back. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so we're gonna... Um... Tax power down. All the I'm gonna try to cheese it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it legit. Because I'm... Not feeling too confident in this fight. Um... Bleh. Act back attack is 12, so it's an 11 block. That's not good. So, um, one strategy I saw in another Let's Play that I'm going to steal because <laughs> this fight's scary is do this. And it didn't work. Oh, that's just lovely. Um, power bounce. Power bounce like you've never power bounced. Um, and I screwed up. Oh yeah, um, did I show that? I can't remember if I showed that, but I did actually talk to Merle off screen. <laughs> and it ate. Um, next turn we could be dead. That's why I did it the way I did with pausing. Was it Kensei Koopa that you can paralyze? Who's the other optional boss? Um, I have to go back and watch that. Um, but yeah, the video I saw, the fight was completely cheese and it was glorious. Um, Oh, there we go. Only took a little bit. So now we can just power bounce the daylights out of the sky. Oh! Uh. Oh, I keep. I, I thought I was mashing the button instead of tapping the button, so I screwed it up. Uh, actually, I should try to paralyze him again. That's what I should do. Uh, oh, yeah, I got capped. Again, you can tell because Mario jumps back instead of falling straight below the enemy. Uh, that Gabar basically represents a hundred, so like getting it that full means it has like a hundred, like an eighty percent chance of success. So that's basically how to read that gauge. Um, 
Hooray for cheesing battles. Uh, <laughs> um, if I can't paralyze him once more, I'll probably die. So... Um, okay, two there. This will take three, so... Just be on the safe side. Um, I do want to not die. I, I did make a save just before this fight, just in the case. Just under the unique circumstances that where I actually do completely flub this fight, which... It has been known to happen. Uh, I did not know about the paralysis, blah, paralysis method until pretty recently, so... Of course I'm gonna use it. Um... Power bounce, and he should be down... Turn after- uh, next turn, actually. Um, yeah, you kind of- I released the button before the meter actually fills up. It's a little bit finicky that way. Um, so we don't even need to do the proper timing on that. And Anti-Guy is down. Uh, only 15 star points because we already fought the boss. If you fight it with Alphawatt, it probably wouldn't be that fun. Increases Mario's jump and hammer attack powers by one. That is really good. <laughs> I want to see how many uh, star points we get from this guy. Um, since I'm going to go back to town and heal anyway, might as well just see how many star points I get. But on another note, um, so far this playthrough is actually going to be really short um, compared to what I thought. I mean, it's going to be like, this is what, part 28? I mean, I can see it being over by like part 60. Four, hopefully. It'd be funny to just have it end of part 64 just with irony, but I don't think it's gonna work out that way. Uh, the next couple chapters are pretty long. Flower Fields, which is chapter 6. That's considered the worst chapter in the game. Um, by many, because you can't sequence break. <laughs> um, chapter 1, 2, 3... You can see what's break, and chapter 4 you can just outright skip if you're a speedrunner, so people don't like chapter uh, 6 that much. Larceny lovers and the shy guys. Uh, that's clever. Um, larceny? It's not a word you hear much. I've got a foolproof pan. Play for court. See you on the road. Um, that is the optional boss I was talking about, Can't See Koopa, who's actually a pun. Can't see, because he's like. He has glasses, but I checked Toe Town, uh, I mean Pleasant Path, and I couldn't find him anywhere. Um, so maybe he hasn't put his plan into action yet. Maybe that's just foreshadowing. So I am going to spin the wrong way. Sorry, it is. Um, I'm seriously struggling to remember how you get the Ultra Rank in this game, and it's kind of bothering me. Let's see, uh, while we're on here, I can Google it. Um, Mario Ultra Rank. See what comes up. Um, I don't know if I showed up the houses that much. So it turns back being quiet, now the shy guys are gone. Yep, yo, quiet, nothing going on at all. <laughs> um,. So basically, um, I don't know, maybe someday there'll be peace, but not looking too likely at the moment. Okay, let's see, it did blah 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 blah. More seeds from blah and blah after making a blah and blah. Okay, so, you get in the story, so I had nothing to worry about. I thought it was like an optional, skippable, missable thing, but apparently not. So, we're gonna switch to Mario, just in case it happens to be a battle. Huh. Uh... Hello? <laughs> Ouch! What are you doing? Oh, it's a whale. Looks like a whalemer. <laughs> oh, good heavens, I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Oh, Colorado. Never change. Uh, ugh, I'm not a tuna, I'm a whale. I promise, it feels like someone's jumping around in my belly. Help me! Oh boy, this great tuna. Colorado, you... dunce. I'm not a fish, I'm not even a... I'm, a, I'm not even a fish. Tuna? Um... 
So Nintendo's fixation on stomachs continues. <laughs> you don't really need light here. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> okay, so again, you can't do this until you have what? I don't know if the whale's even in here. Oh, ah, who that? What do you think you're doing with that light? So that is trouble. <laughs> Hey fella, you want a piece of this? Okay, um, what, like I said earlier, it's like... Two words, jabby jabber. Um... That actually kind of freaked me out, to be honest. Oh, uh, that is intriguing. Apparently we can't actually tattle him. Uh, huh. That is not something I remember about this area. Um... I assume that means he's not too strong if you can't even tattle. Uh, I don't know if power bouncing can get capped during this fight. Oh, apparently again. Uh, no one ever fights this fight in speedruns because uh, you use a warp pipe sequence break to get to what's his face. So, no, not what's his face. What's to get to uh, Lava Lava Island? So, yeah, that's a so yeah, you actually use a warp pipe. You sequence break and get to the warp pipe under the in the sewer to Lava Lava Island early, and thus you can bypass this fight and most of Lava Lava Island actually. Okay, so even though we can tell him, it's pretty easy. I wonder if he has tattle data actually, because I'm not sure if you can actually tell him. Okay, we're an old fishing man, and then I get swallowed up by some huge fish. There you go again with the fish. Um. Okay, so, so it's just blah blah blah. Um, towel. He apparently does have towel. Or does he? Um, he's Fuzzy Pete. Okay, so he doesn't actually. It's. Let's see. During the fight against Fuzzy Pete, I'm on the Mario Wiki. MarioWiki.com. Mario since Mario can only use Watt in the battle, and due to the fact that inside of the whale's belly will be, the inside of the whale's belly will be too dark for Mario and his partner to attack, the player cannot get good Mario's towel for this enemy. Fuzzy Peel's towel information is not present in the game data. Citation needed. So it sounds like he might not even have towel data at all. Um Just cause you can't towel. So like basically just bait jumping around. This cause of the way- oh! Whoosh! Yeah, cause that makes logical sense. And about the Lantern Ghost, uh, cause I never tattled the Lantern Ghost. And I said I would, um... Get tattled day of him. I was kind of sure. Well, so I was just having a nap with my mouth open. Makes me think of Finding Nemo, though this was like... A two, two or three years before Fighting Nemo. Um, oh, don't worry, whales only eat krill. Oh, look, krill! Um, they should call you Dr. Mario. They do call me Dr. Mario. Um, I, the, uh, I mean, the, I, the whale, <laughs> I'm quite good at swimming. Uh, on the game's dropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you'll tune it. It's just kind of a slap color out of it sometimes. <laughs> I think the circuit said the star speed was caught with the big lava lava island. Uh, lava lava island? I uh, guess I, of course I know where it is, but there's a big volcano on the island and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? It's your call. We want to go to lava lava island, but and while this cutscene is playing, I will read off title data. Um... Okie dokie. So for Gumbario said, oh, this is safe, and next room, hmm? This is the uh, Lantern Ghost Tattle Data says, This is a big Lantern Ghost. He avoids attacks by hiding in the dark. Your friends, like <clears throat> me, will also be damaged when he does flash attack. The throat clearing was, is actually part of the tattle if you're wondering. The flash attack, the flash attack's power is two. Hit the lantern many times to make it brighter, and then you'll be able to attack him. As soon as you can see, hit him right in the head. Um, max HP forty, attack five. So that is the big lantern ghost stats. I think I said his HP was forty. If so, then that would have been right. <sighs> 
So that looks like a piranha plant. And that looks like the start from Mario Party 5. <laughs> you watch that. This is Lava Lava Island, the obligatory jungle chapter in the Paper Mario Chapter 5 with an archaeologist. Literally, every Paper Mario has a chapter like this as their Chapter 5 with treasure hunting and exploration. Um, spoiler, but there's like one character, Flavio, who's a pirate slash treasure hunter who goes who wants to find treasure and this Mario comes along. In, in Super Paper Mario, there's uh, Chapter Fifth, Chapter Five is not an island, but it involves a character named I think Flint Cragley, who is um, like runs a TV show, basically. Uh, oh, you spin on it. That's right. Um, and thus, all three Chapter Fives and all three Paper Mario uh, part pa ah, what? All three Paper Mario's kind of are kind of similar. Um, uh, that's like ugly fuzzy. Um, I like to eat Goring for your shop. Okay, gotta remember to do that, meaning I'll forget. Oh, Mario, you're supposed to hack the other guy, old bean. You have issues. Good god. Uh, Colorado is a piece of work. Jungle Fuzzy is very similar to other fun fuzz. I thought it was like fun guys, but fuzzies. But they live in the jungle, so that's their name. Creative. Um, they basically have same HP as all fuzzies, so no problems, no worries. Um, power balance is not worth the time. Zap tap will get them off immediately, so they won't be able to siphon off any health like that. Because fuzzies have to actually latch on. No problem. Uh, I'm trying to remember if you have spike shield. If you do, I will definitely have to remember to equip it, but I don't remember if I actually have it. Uh, but yeah, with Zap Tap Fuzzies are a complete joke. Um, I think in Thousand Door they actually remedy this by having a fuzzy that just jumps on you instead of actually sucking out HP so they still do damage. Oh, the Palm Trees move, that's kind of cute. Um, 87 star points, and away we go. Save me, many thanks for chum. Enough of that, let's pull some blah blah blah. Um, yeah. So, we go a little further, we add Yoshi's Village, where everything looks super cute and peaceful. If you're playing blind, your reaction will be like, Oh my god, there are Yoshis in this game, but I already know they're Yoshis. Uh, this is the Yoshi Elder. From the village of the Yoshi's Village. Are you come seeking help? You wish to go to Lava 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 Lava, do you? The entrance to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. Oh, proper grammar for once. Um, I'm not supposed to end sentences with prepositions. It's the way to go to it that is actually proper grammar. Uh, just saying. Because I'm a nerd. Uh, I know this kind of thing. These are ravens. Uh, if you played Yoshi's Island, you'll know about the ravens because of Raphael the raven. Uh, he's kind of a piece of work, but he's actually nice in this game. The shell. The shell shot. Saw, ah, I, I was trying to make it funny, but I even can do that. The shop sells super shrooms and thunder rages, so if we need more items, which we really don't, this is where we come. <sighs> oh, shoot, actually, I want to stock up on these. Um, I'm sure you'll find I'll find some anyway, but just stock up. So, uh, rest, I think we'll rest up and then call it a day. Um, so next time we pick Mario, we will be exploring Uncharted. Not Uncharted, because the Yoshis are here, thus it's Uncharted. But Lava Lava Island. <laughs>